This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course, where it's Lesson 17, and Course D, where it's Lesson 14. If else with B, Puzzle 5. In this puzzle, we know that every flower has exactly one nectar, okay? But the flowers aren't spaced evenly. Nope. Get all the nectar using as few blocks as possible. So they want us to only use five. And like we've been doing in the previous le oh, and only use get nectar once. Yikes. So I know I'm going to use a loop. Um, wall path ahead, repeat how many times? Hmm. So this path is straight ahead the whole time until the end, and then there won't be path. So let's use wall path ahead. It's easier than counting up to how many times to repeat. So as long as there's path, I know I want to move forward. But while moving forward, I want to make sure that I check if there's a flower, right? Get all of the Okay. And so how can I check? Because I don't want to just get nectar, because if I try to get nectar here, nope, there's no nectar. So I can't say every time to get nectar. So I know I want to move forward. There's that. Let's do that. Now, I want to say, I can't just say get nectar, I want to check if there's a flower. And if there's a flower, so every single time this runs, every step I take, we're going to say, okay, wall path, I'm going to hit step, and so right now we check, yes, there's a path ahead. The computer says, true, B, there's path. Okay, if it's true, we run the code inside. Now we're going to move forward, then next up is our if statement. If at flower. So I'm asking the computer, hey, am I at a flower? And, or I'm asking the B, and it says, true, yes, you're at a flower. Oh, okay, then I'm going to do get nectar, and I get the nectar. Now I'm hit the bottom of our code, and I'm going to go back to the top, and I'm checking right now. Path ahead, yep, true. So I run the code inside, I step forward. Now I ask the computer, if at flower, am I at a flower, computer? False, no, you're not. So I don't run get nectar, I just go down, and that's the bottom of the loop, so I go back to the top. Okay, let's try the full thing now. But da Awesome. If statements are super powerful, I can't wait to see what we're going to be doing with them. Let's keep going.